Okay, the second tool that we're going to look at today is academia.edu, which is just available at www.academia.edu. So, as you can see here right now, I've got the option on the main page of signing up with my Google account, signing up with Facebook, or sign up by email. If you were looking to attach this to your institutional account, you want to sign up with email and just put in your first name, your last name, your tu.edu email address, and then create a password and click sign up. For the purposes of this activity, I'm actually going to sign up with Google. And once you've signed in, what you'll find is you get this screen here that asks you, are you a faculty member, graduate student, not a researcher, undergraduate, or other? In our case, we are going to select faculty member. And the first thing it'll ask you is, have you authored a paper in a peer-reviewed journal? Uh, so you can say yes or no there as appropriate. It, if you do say yes, it'll ask if you have a PDF of that paper that you'd like to share. And in this case, I had indicated yes, and I do have a PDF that I'd like to share. And I say yes there, and it asks me to upload a file. So I'm going to go in and choose a file. And you can see it's uploading there now. And once it's finished uploading, I can continue. And what it will do is it will extract some of the information for me. So it was able to extract from the PDF the title of the article. So what I'm going to need to do now is I'm going to need to add in the additional information that's not there. So once I've manually added in information like the abstract, the publication, the year, and the DOI, I can go down now and I can add specific research interests. Now these aren't research interests of mine. These are essentially the keywords that go around the specific article that I'm doing. So what happens here is by adding in these keywords, you can see that if I put in grief, that anyone who's following that term grief, which right now are 3,029 followers, would get notice that something was actually posted around that topic. So you can actually use this as a good way to try to find some of the terms that may be useful or appropriate for your particular article or piece of scholarship. Once you've got your keywords in there, by default everything falls into a section called papers and you can actually add in the specific ones that it looks at so in this case papers is probably as good a description as any other when I look at the default ones once we get our profile set up we'll actually be able to go in and manually edit some of these or add additional ones so I'm gonna say papers and I'm going to click save and finish now one of the things you'll note is that there's some things here that they don't include in this general information an important one is if your article is available from an online resource or if it's an open access journal so there's a URL there that's not included in this so when we actually save and finish here one of the things that we'll want to do is add that information on the other side you can see it's asking if I want to follow a particular colleague and in this case it's asking if it wants to follow me um, we're not going to do that so I'm going to unselect and I'm going to skip and we're going to choose the free account because there's not much purpose unless you really want to get into academia.edu to select the premium one. And now as you can see we've got the basics here. Um, now there's a couple of things in which we can do here. The first is obviously we can go in and change our profile picture. We can go in and add a bibliography and when we do that not only do we get a bibliography but we get a chance to add in some other additional information here as you can see. Um, you'll notice that we have the ability to edit here so I can go in and edit my name, my profile picture, my affiliation if I want to put contact information in there, if I want to connect my social profiles in there. The research interest here is the 
one that would be what it is you happen to be interested in so the types of things you want in here you can see here now this is gives us an option to add remove or rearrange papers and sections and this is where we would actually be able to go in and change the different sections we've got so right now we've got one that's just called papers I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna call that one journal articles so now I've got one called journal articles I'm also going to add in a section here called conference presentations because I'm going to want to add some of those later and I'm going to add a section called thesis slash dissertation and I'm going to click plus there. Now I'm going to rearrange these into the order that I think they should go and then once I've done that I'm going to click on save. So you can see now my items have come across the top and you can also see that they are organized along the side here. Now one of the things I can do with this, I mentioned earlier that there are URLs associated with this particular article that aren't available right now. So if I click on edit, I actually have the ability to add in some more information here now so I can put in a volume number and issue number and page numbers so let me go and do that and as I scroll down here it also gives me the ability to add in a URL so let me go and do that so now that I've got that done as you can see here I can add some more information up here and then there's a item here that allows me to add additional information now some of this is actually superfluous to what we've already done so depending upon you know if it's a conference you can actually put in all of the exact stuff so that it would allow APA to generate the correct information here obviously we're not going to do that right now um, if you've added something by mistake you've got the delete paper option here so I could click delete here and it would actually remove this from my profile the only thing I've got to remember to do here now is if I want to keep this and I've got all of these things added in here so I do want to keep this information I want to click on save changes and that will save the changes to my profile and so now it's done and I can just go up and click on view profile again and it will come back and here's my profile and you can see it's finished uploading the PDF and if I were to go to that particular page you'll see that I could download the PDF but it also provides the options of going to those URLs that I had there all of the information that I added DOI, the issue, the volume, the page numbers, all of that information is up here as well. Okay, you can see here now I've got my profile created and I've got a couple of things added in here. I've got a picture in there, I've got a little bit of a bio in there, and now we have a complete academia.edu profile.
Okay, you can see here now I've got my profile created and I've got a couple of things added in here. I've got a picture in there. I've got a little bit of a bio in there and I am ready for people. And now this profile is ready to and now we have a complete academia.edu profile.